Those of you who followed me on my previous channel here on YouTube will know the story of how I very nearly became an officer with Hampshire Constabulary. Alas, it was not meant to be, but I am glad. I am glad, really, because the police today, they are lost, folks. The police of today are a political tool, and they're not fit for purpose. And there are many, many reasons for this, but one of the main reasons, I believe, is that they are now recruiting mainly from socialist, communist, Marxist-soaked colleges and universities here in the UK, and so they are effectively poisoning their own pool, their own recruitment pool, with these people who hold up the likes of Chairman Mao, uh, Joseph Stalin, and homophobic and racist <laughs> revolutionary uh, Che Guevara up in high regard. And of course, there is the odd one or two in the police force still who were bullied at school, joined the police, got a bit of power, and now have become total bullies. But I'm not going to take away the fact that there are still some good coppers in the police force. Yes, they do exist. I've met a few. They they just want to do their job. They want to keep the public safe and, uh, you know, lock up criminals, real criminals, and detect and solve crime. That's their job fundamentally. But now, of course, you will find more often than not here in the UK, if you've been burgled or a victim of a violent crime, they, you know, you ring up the police here and they haven't got the resources. And yet every time there's a pride march somewhere in Brighton, London or any other city here in the UK, you will find them en masse, dancing away, having a good time, painting rainbow colours on their faces and just making prats of themselves. That's the police in the UK today, folks. They are an utter embarrassment and they need reforming root and stem, and they need to recruit the right sort of people uh, for this job. Because, let's face it, we don't need weedy little students with their little uh, communist Marxist red book ideology. What we need are big men and women who aren't afraid of tackling criminals, men and women with uh, life experience, and men and women who want to protect the public property and restore law and order in this country. That's what we need. That's what the country needs. So it should come as no shock or surprise to anyone <laughs> watching this video or on social media that Hampshire police have arrested someone for posting a meme on Facebook. Now it all revolves around the, uh, the LGBT plus flag meme that was... Uh, <laughs> How can I explain this now? Lawrence Fox, we all know Lawrence Fox, he posted a photo of, I believe it was four or five LGBTQ flags positioned in a way that uh, perfectly made the swastika, the Nazi swastika symbol. Of course, Lawrence Fox uh, account was suspended. He was told to take that photo down. <laughs> and so a an old squaddy, a guy called Harry Miller, was arrested by the police at his home by Hampshire Constabulary. And the reason being, and you can see this in the video, if you go on social media, you'll see it. The copper stands in front of him while this poor ex squaddy Harry Miller is handcuffed, arrested. Uh, and the copper says, it's because someone has been caused anxiety based on your social media post. That's why you're being arrested. I mean, have you ever heard of anything so absolutely absurd in all your life? Because I bet good money that had this Harry Miller robbed some old lady on the street at night, Hampshire police wouldn't have been so quick to arrest him. They had like three or four officers at his house to arrest him. An old man, an old soldier. How embarrassing. And this is utterly disgusting behaviour by the police. The police are woke. The police are politicised. Because now they have been reduced to arresting and cuffing a military veteran, of all people, for a retweet that offended someone. That's it, basically. That photo, that meme of the uh, LGBTQ plus flag arranged in a way to display a swastika perfectly uh, made someone cry and upset. And someone at Hampshire Police thought it was suffice to send three or four officers to question an old man about it. And not just question him, arrest him. I mean, what else can I say? And this is tyranny. This is tyranny, folks, because what they are doing, right, the police are arresting people in Britain for posting offensive things on social media, and then they're offering to downgrade the offence in exchange for sending the offender, uh, in brackets, on a re-education course. This is tyranny. The police are saying it was a hate crime. 
It wasn't a crime at all. Showing a photo online of something isn't a crime. I mean, you can go into an Oxfam shop and buy Adolf Hitler's autobiography or biography. You, you can buy Mein Kampf uh, online here in the UK. There are swastikas. There are coins with swastikas on eBay, which you can buy. And so to every one of us with common sense and decency in this country, it's just laughable. The police in this country are a joke. And thankfully, this story has a happy ending because not only has Harry Miller, the military veteran uh, who was arrested for this, for posting this photo, uh, released without charge, you know, nothing further against him. But the Hans Police PCC, Donna Jones, she wrote a statement. And it's an encouraging statement, really, because uh, thanks to Lawrence Fox, all right, this, uh, this was highlighted. And I believe it was him who filmed... Uh, the whole incident of the arrest as well, because this guy knew he was going to get arrested and uh, got in contact with Lawrence Fox, and he was there with his camera to record the whole thing. And he sent it. He he did a campaign, a little campaign, on his Twitter account, and uh, you know helped get this Harry Miller guy off the hook, and rightly so. But it persuaded Hampshire Police to write a statement, and this is what he says. I am aware of the video published on Twitter, which shows the arrest of two men in Hampshire yesterday. One for malicious communications <laughs> and one for obstructing of a police officer. I have taken this issue up with a constabulary today and have been advised officers made the arrests following a complaint from a member of the public of an alleged hate crime. Jesus H. Christ. It follows a post on social media of progress pride flags in the shape of a swastika. I mean, if that photo offends you, makes you cry, makes you... Go for your phone to phone the police. You need to have a word for yourself. The problem is you. I am concerned about both the proportionality and necessity of the police's response to this incident when incidents on social media receive not one but two visits from police officers. But burglaries and non-domestic break-ins don't always get a police response. Something is wrong. And the PCC, uh, Donna Jones, is absolutely on the money with this. We need more people like Donna Jones. As police commissioner, I am committed to ensuring Hampshire Constabulary serves the public as the majority of people would expect. It appears on this occasion this has not happened. This incident has highlighted a really topical issue which Hampshire Constabulary and other police forces need to learn from. In order to support this, I will be writing to the College of Policing to make them aware of this incident and encourage greater clarification on the guidance in order to ensure that police officers can respond more appropriately in the future. In other words, this is a non-crime, and they shouldn't have responded. There are more important crimes happening in this country. That's what Donna Jones, the police commissioner of Hampshire Constabulary, is saying, and she's absolutely right, and we should back her. And this story, this incident, this issue, is one of the many woke, uh, unacceptable issues why I am glad, really, that after I passed all the scenarios, the tests, the written tests, the interviews, and effectively managed to get into Hampshire Police, they sent me that letter to say they weren't recruiting uh, people from my demographic at that time, and they were looking for more ethnic minority, uh, ethnic religious um, people to become uh, poli police officers with Hampshire Constabulary. And I'm glad that's happened because... Had I been ordered to go and arrest this military veteran for that, I think I'd have quit on the spot. I couldn't have done it. My conscience would not have allowed me to do it. And it wasn't the right thing to do and how to handle it. So there we go, folks. A man arrested for posting a photo on Facebook, which was four flags arranged to make the swastika symbol. And he had three or four coppers turn up to arrest him for it. How stupid. That's my video. Please let me know what you think about this in the comments. Should Harry Miller have been arrested or shouldn't he? I want to know. And that's that. So until the next time, catch you later. Take it easy and Roger Trout.